My brothers and sisters in Christ, today is re re Vacation Reflections uh, from The Imitation of Christ by Thomas A. Kempis continue with chapter 18 titled, On the Examples Given by the Holy Fathers. If you're wondering, yes, I've skipped over chapter 17, not because it's not any good, it is more pertaining to religious life than to the laity. So chapter 18, On the Examples Given by the Holy Fathers. Look at the shining examples of our ancient fathers and the saints, in whom true perfection and religion flourished, and then you will see how little we do by comparison, how we can even compare our lives with theirs. These friends of Christ served him amid all sorts of tribulations, hunger and thirst, heat and cold, labor and weariness, in vigils and fasts, holy meditations and prayers, and in persecutions and insults. Consider the many and grievous trials endured by the apostles, martyrs, confessors, virgins, and indeed all the saints who followed in the footsteps of our Lord. In order to possess everlasting life, they rejected honors and all the pleasures of this life. How strict and mortified was the life of our fathers led in the wilderness! How many grievous temptations they endured and violent assaults of the devil! How fervently they prayed daily to God, imposing rigid fasts on themselves! What ardent zeal to advance in the spiritual life! What relentless war they waged against all sin, and with what pure and wholehearted intention did they aspire toward God! They worked by day and they prayed by night. Their time was always profitably spent, for even in their physical labors they turned their minds to God and considered the time in His service all too short. Often they forgot the need for food, so consoling were their contemplations. They abandoned riches, honors, friends, and families. They wanted nothing of this world, scarcely even taking what was necessary for the body. Outwardly they were in need, but inwardly they were filled with grace and spiritual consolation. They were strangers to the world, but to God they were dear and intimate friends. In the world's eyes and in their own they were despised as nothing, but in the eyes of God and His saints they were beloved and precious indeed. True humility simple obedience, charity, patience, in fact, all the virtues shown forth in them. This is why they grew spiritually every day, gaining great grace from God. They were given and as an example to all who desire to be holy. How much more, therefore, should they inspire us to advance spiritually than the number of lukewarm influence us to grow lax? How fervent were the religious when their institutions were founded! What devotion in prayer, what zeal for virtue, and what strict disciplines was maintained! Reverence and obedience under the rule of the superior prospered. The history of their deeds bear witness to their holiness and perfection, by which they were able to subdue the world and trample it beneath their feet. Nowadays, those who can keep the rule and maintain patience in what they have undertaken are thought the world of. How sad it is that through our own negligence and wasting of time, we have fallen so quickly from our first fervor, and are even tired of life itself. God grant that the desire to advance in virtue be not dormant in you, who so often have had the examples of the saints before you. May God bless you.